Hello everyone. So welcome to our video lesson or lecture video about parab uh, parabola with vertex at hk. So when we say that the vertex is at hk, it means it is not on the point of origin or 0, 0, but it can be anywhere on the Cartesian plane. So it could be along the y-axis or x-axis but not at the point of origin or it could be on any quadrant first second third and fourth quadrant of the cartesian plane so we discuss now the standard equations of the parabola with vertex at hk so when the parabola opens upward and the vertex is at hk the equation now or the standard equation of our parabola will be quantity x minus h squared equals 4a times the quantity y minus k. So this time, you will notice that ang kasama ni h or ni x sa ating equation i c h at ang kasama naman ni y i c k. Later, babanggitin natin ano ba yung h, ano ba yung k. Okay, so this is the equation for the parabola with vertex at h k that opens upward. And now, for the parabola that opens downward, the equation now, or the standard equation, will be quantity x minus h squared equals negative 4a times the quantity y minus k. So, this time, dahil siya ay downward, negative ngayon ang ating 4a. So, if you notice the difference between the two standard equations, the only difference is that up the upward, opens upward, is positive 4a, <coughs> And for the parabola that opens downward, it is negative 4a. Now, next will be the standard equations for the parabola with vertex at hk with uh, the opening or it opens to the right. So this time, our standard equation will be y minus k squared equals 4a times the quantity x minus h. So, as you notice, nagpalit naman ngayon ng pwesto si y at si x, pero kasama pa rin ni y si k at kasama pa rin naman ni x si h. So, take note of the equation of the parabola that opens to the right. And for the one that opens to the left, our equation now will be y minus k squared equals negative 4a times the quantity x minus H. So, as you notice, uh, the one that opens to the right has a positive 4a and the one that opens to the left is negative 4a. So, we have now the four standard equations of our parabola with vertex at hk. So, let's say we have the two axes, the x-axis and the y-axis. And then this is our parabola, the curve of our parabola that opens upward. This is its uh, vertex on the fourth quadrant. So, yung kanyang vertex will have the coordinates h, k. So, when we say h, that is the x-coordinate of our vertex. Okay, the first element of its coordinate. And uh, k is the y coordinate of our vertex, the second element of the ordered pair or the coordinate. So, h is the x-coordinate of our vertex and k is the y-coordinate of our vertex. So, let's say again, we have a parabola that opens upward and then you have the uh, you have the vertex at hk. So, when we say hk, again, h is uh, coordinate x coordinate of our vertex and k is the y coordinate. So this time, let's say for example, yung ating vertex ay katapat ng negative 2 along x axis. That's why its h is negative 2. The y at the x coordinate of our vertex now is negative 2. And our vertex is also across the negative 1 value of y axis. That is why the y-coordinate of our vertex is negative 1. So that means our h is negative 2 and our k is 
negative 1. So, as you can see here in our example. Now, <clears throat> let's say we have a parabola that opens upward that has the standard equation x minus h squared equals 4a times the quantity y minus k. Here is our parabola and this is the vertex. Okay, another one here, a parabola that opens upward with vertex at hk on the first quadrant located siya, no? So this is our vertex with hk and then we have here the other points of, uh, of our parabola, the focus, and the two end points of our latus rectum. The distance between the focus and vertex is again equal to A. That A can be computed using our standard equation. Same as with the parabola with vertex at 0, 0, yung, yung pagkuha ng A. So again, the distance, the distance between these two points is equal to A. And the distance from the focus to either of the endpoints of the lattice rectum is 2a. 2a. So the total length of our lattice rectum will be 2a plus 2a, that is equal to 4a. Now, since our vertex is hk and we move from vertex to focus vertically upward with distance of a, therefore, ang mababago ay yung y coordinate ni vertex the k. So, if we move upward, therefore, we add a. So, the focus now will have the coordinates h, k plus a. So, hindi na bago yung h kasi hindi naman tayo gumalaw horizontally. Gumalaw lang tayo vertically. So, ang k ni vertex lang ang mababago para sa ating focus. So, this time, our focus now is equal to h, k plus a. Now, for the two endpoints of our lattice rectum, as you can see from our focus, let's say for example, the left endpoint of our lattice rectum, the movement is horizontal. So therefore, yung H naman na ngayon ni focus ang mababago. This K plus A will remain the same. Okay? So, if we go to the left endpoint of our lattice rectum, therefore, we subtract 2A. That is why... The coordinates of this left endpoint of our lattice rectum is h negative 2a k plus a. And then, on the right endpoint of our lattice rectum, we add 2a okay, to our h kasi the movement is horizontally to the right. So, we have now h plus 2a k plus a. So, these are the coordinates of our points, vertex, focus, and the two endpoints of the lattice rectum. Now, since our vertex is uh, the distance between the vertex and focus is A, that is also the distance between the vertex and our directrix. That is A. So, if we're going down with the distance of A, that is K minus A, it will be a straight broken line for our directrix tapat doon sa k minus a ng y-axis natin. So, therefore, the directrix has an equation of y equals k minus a. Let's say we have an example here, a parabola that opens upward with the given standard equation quantity x minus 4 raised to 2 equals 8 times the quantity y minus 2. So, this satisfies the equation, standard equation of our parabola that opens upward, wherein our 8 here is our 4a. So, we can equate 4a equals 8. And then, we get the value of a equal to 2. And then, by observation, kung ano yung kasama ni x sa ating standard equation na x minus h, this time this is x minus 4, so therefore our h is 4, and then y minus k, y minus 2, therefore k is equal to 2. So it means that our vertex will be 4, 2. So it is across the 4 of x, and ganun din across the value of 2 ng ating y-axis. So, the coordinates of our vertex will be 4, 2. So, this is our vertex 
and our parabola opens upward. Now, the distance between our vertex and the focus is 2, and that is the value of our A. So, if our vertex has a uh, coordinates of 4, 2, and then we move 2 units upward, therefore, the coordinates now of our focus will be, it will remain 4 sa kanyang x coordinate, and this time, the y coordinate of our focus will be 2 plus 2, and it becomes now 4, 4. So, this is the coordinates of our focus, 4, 4. So, this time, we have the two endpoints of the lattice rectum, the one on the left and the one on the right. Sabi natin, the distance between the focus and one of the lattice rectum endpoint is 2a. So, 2a, 2 times the value of a, which is 2, that is equal to 4. So, from focus, 4, 4, we move 4 units to the left horizontally, ang horizontal ang movement. So, ang mangyayari, this x coordinate of our focus will be subtracted by 4 units kasi going to the left. So, 4 minus 4, you have 0. That is the x coordinate of this point and the y coordinate remains the same. So, this left end point of our lattice rectum will have the coordinate 0, 4. And on the right side of our end point of lattice rectum, we add this time 4 units starting 4. So, this becomes 8, 4. And then, the distance between the vertex and focus is 2. So, therefore, the distance between the focus and the rectrix is also 2. This time, pababa tayo, downward. So, if this is 4, 2, so pababa tayo, yung y coordinate, 2 minus 2 is 0. That is, across, uh, that is along 0 value of y axis or simply that is our x axis. So, therefore, the directrix of our parabola is uh, is the y axis as the x axis itself or the equation of our parabola or equation of the directrix of our parabola rather is y equals 0. So, kasi nga, si x axis mismo yung naging directrix ng ating parabola. So, the equation now is y equals 0.